And ladies and gentlemen, we are now live on air, live in Philadelphia. I'm your host, the commentator, Nick. Welcome to another episode of Anarchy. And tonight's episode is a special live TV episode called Anarchy Rules, sponsored by the old ECW brand. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Money in the Bank, Bobby Root is out here, and he has a, a briefcase, but it's not his normal Money in the Bank briefcase. He has a, a, a different briefcase. I wonder what's inside. What, apparently, Bobby Root has something to say. This is complete bullcrap. I should be standing here right now as the new WWE Champion. But thanks to someone who I consider to be my right-hand man, I once again got stopped before cashing in my money in the bank briefcase. Wardlow, you listen to me, you big sack of dog shit. What you did last week will have consequences behind it. I just talked to Triple H and he gave me the dishonor of telling you that at the Royal Rumble you're fighting me. Wardlow, I brought you into this world of WWE, and I'll take you out of this world. At the Royal Rumble, you're going to pay for what you did. And I mean, you are literally going to pay for it. Because all you losers here may be asking why I have a different briefcase other than my money in the bank briefcase. Well, that's because in this here briefcase is $1 million. That's right. Before the Royal Rumble, I am placing a $1 million bounty on his head. Whoever can injure Wardlow the most heading into the Rumble this weekend will be rewarded with this briefcase. Good luck, Wardog, because you're going to need it. You aren't making it to Philadelphia, and this weekend, it will be absolutely glorious. Oh my God, folks. Bobby Roode has placed a literal $1 million bounty on the head of Wardlow. Will Wardlow even be able to make it? to the Royal Rumble this weekend when they go one-on-one. -on -one. What's gonna happen? Bobby Roode is pissed off, and now he has seemingly put a bounty on Wardlow's head. This guy is insane. This is uncalled for. Bobby Roode is such a petty human being, ladies and gentlemen, to have all that malice inside I mean, I get it. Last week, Wardlow, his longtime friend, hit him with a big boot, but he was slapping Wardlow around. One could argue that Wardlow deserved the right to kick him right in the face. But now Root has placed a bounty, but it's time to move on. It's time to kick the show off, ladies and gentlemen, with some singles competition. It's time to see some Lucha Libre style of wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. This should be a great opening contest. We're starting off with Axiom, one of the best Lucha wrestlers in the whole world. And he's gonna go up against the debuting Dragon Lee. Two guys looking to prove a point and two guys looking for a massive win here. Axiom also making technically his debut in this series here on Anarchy. We are getting things rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, let's get it. He's here making his debut in the series. Dragon Lee, one of the greatest lucha wrestlers in the entire world, recently signed from the Ring of Honor brand over in AEW. And now he's here in WWE. Triple H could not pass up this guy, and I can't blame him. Dragon Lee been all over the world fighting wrestlers in Ring of Honor, such as Rush. They had an iconic rivalry back in ROH, and now Dragon Lee looking to make a statement, looking to make a name for himself here in the WWE. It should be interesting here to see these two very similar clashing of styles here in this matchup as Lee and Axiom go one-on-one, -on -one and they have a similar background, so this should be very interesting. Some lucha action to kick off the show, folks. Some singles competition. It is live, and it is up next right here in Philadelphia, home of the Royal Rumble this weekend. Bell goes up, here we go folks, already starting off with a fast paced action in a matchup like this with these two styles meshing here in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen, you are certain to see some high flying, death defying action here, some very quick paced, fast paced matchup we're about to see right here as Axiom and Lee are about to put their bars on the line. Nobody home right there. Dragon Lee misses. He moves out the way. And oh, Axiom moves out the way next. And now Axiom going outside onto the apron. And now using the springboard offense. Oh, but once again countered. And now Dragon Lee going to the apron. 
taking turns here. And oh, oh finally catches it with a clothesline. Using the springboard offense. Dragon Lee very athletic, but so is Axiom here. And now Dragon Lee goes to the top rope. Looking for a Dragon Runner perhaps, but no. No. Oh, Axiom catches it with a power bomb. Can he get it? Oh, and a kick out at one. Dragon Lee kicking out of the power bomb at one. A very good kick out. And now, oh my goodness, Dragon Lee flying through the air. Springboard moon salt. Landing onto Axiom. This is amazing so far. If you're in the live chat, ladies and gentlemen, first off, welcome here. We're live in Philly. I'm your host, Compton and Nick. Please welcome. Enjoy the show. First episode, 2K24 season. Let's get it. If you're in the live chat, who takes home the victory here right now? Who will win this matchup? Will it be Axiom or will it be Lee? Leave your predictions in the live chat or in the comments here. As Dragon Lee looking to use more athleticism. Oh, and a head scissor takedown to Axiom. And now what's Dragon Lee thinking here? Dragon Lee looking to grab Axiom. What's he looking for here? And oh, but Axiom counters. And now Axiom throwing Dragon Lee, setting him to the outside. What's Axiom thinking here? Axiom looks fired up here. Axiom, remember, also making his debut in this series, looking to make a name for himself here. Flying through the ropes. Look out! Look out, Dragon Lee! Suicide dive by Axiom. Axiom is on fire. And now, what's Axiom thinking here? Going to the top, and a high cross fly to the outside. Axiom feeling himself right now, playing up to this crowd, this red hot crowd here in Philly. And now, eyes whip into the ring, goes Dragon Lee. And now, Axiom picks him up. What's he looking for here? And now, Axiom grappling him. And now, kick him. Uh, multiple kicks right to him, and oh, takes him down right there. And Dragon Lee trying to go away, trying to crawl to the ropes, use the rope to leverage, and he counters right there. And now Dragon Lee, springboard DDT, spiking Axiom on his head. And oh my goodness, a forearm smash right to the face. Axiom gets brought down to the mat. Now he gets brought up by Dragon Lee. And now Lee, I'm up into the corner. Dragon Lee, oh, uppercut. Lightning quick, lightning fast, uppercut right to the chin. And now Dragon Lee, I was whipping to the other corner. What's he looking for here? And now, wait a minute, he flips Axiom in the other direction, upside down. Axiom has no idea where he's at. And now Dragon Lee, wait a minute, going to the top. What's Dragon Lee thinking here? Dragon Lee, look out. Oh my god, double foot stomp. While well, Axiom was tied up in the tree of woe. Is that it? Can that do it? No, Axiom kicks out, but that was very dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. That did not look good for Axiom. He could be in a lot of pain right now. Oh, and now over the top rope, flying to the outside once again. Dragon Lee taking on Axiom, putting it all on the line here. These two putting on one hell of a contest here, folks, to open up Anarchy. Thank you for joining me here once again at Anarchy Rules here. You know, Dragon Lee, what are you looking for here? Placing him on the ropes. What's Dragon Lee looking for here? Now Dragon Lee looking at a mount of comeback. Oh, and now gets countered with that back body drop from Axiom. And now Axiom looks to be on fire here. Can he get the momentum back on his side in this matchup? And now Axiom looking to make a comeback of his own. Axiom now. And now he sweeps the leg out from under Dragon Lee. Amazing. A huge spike of offense coming from Axiom. This is amazing for Axiom so far. And now he grabs the arm. Oh, and he just takes it down onto the mat. And now wrenching and just turning that arm. Just stretching it in an awkward position. And now Axiom, what's he looking for? Axiom rolls through into the rings of Saturn. The rings of Saturn stretching that arm once again. The rings of Saturn locked in on Dragon Lee. Will Dragon Lee be forced to submit here, folks? Will Dragon Lee tap out? Is he going to tap? Is it night, night time? Is it time for bed? And no, Dragon Lee resisting. And Dragon Lee punches him off, able to get him off. And now Dragon Lee, what's he looking for here? Looking for a super kick, but no, countered by Axiom. And now Axiom turns him around. Axiom grappling him now. Axiom, oh my goodness. Uh, Fisherman suplex, shades of Hall of Famer, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. And now Axiom, what's he looking for here? You know, oh, double axiom, but nobody home. Dragon Lee counters. You know, Dragon Lee, oh, kick right to the leg. And oh, another counter. Back and forth action. Great fast pace, back and forth action here. Dragon Lee's got his leg. And Dragon Lee now. 
What's Leo looking for? Oh, a huge uppercut. Once again, using that uppercut to his advantage. And now Dragon Lee with a kick right to the leg. And a strike, a furious strike. Oh, and another far smash. Axiom may be stunned. Axiom may be in trouble here, folks. Now Dragon Lee playing up to this crowd here. These two are definitely put on quite the show and contest for these fans here. And Axiom, Axiom counters. And now, oh, springboard drop kick, but once again countered by Lee. And now Lee, what's he looking for here? And now he grabs Axiom. Got him in the power on position. And now, wait a minute. And he drops him the other way, folded up like an accordion. Is that it? And no, Axiom kicks out. Axiom kicks out. What a maneuver, but it wasn't enough to put Axiom away. And now Lee fired up here. What's he looking for here? Dragon Lee. Oh, and countered by Axiom with a jawbreaker. And now, oh, into the corner. Oh, and he just collapses. You gotta wonder if the stamina is getting to both of these high flying athletes, ladies and gentlemen. And now, oh, Axiom in the corner. And now props Lee up. What's he looking for here? Axiom potentially looking to go high risk. Axiom now. Dragon Lee may be stunned here. And now Axiom, wait a minute, what is this? Axiom, oh my god, Avalanche Spanish Fly. My goodness. Avalanche Spanish Fly. Axiom putting it all on the line, is that it? Is that all she wrote? And no, Dragon Lee kicks out. What a contest this has been, ladies and gentlemen. These two putting it on the line here. Dragon Lee needs a breather outside the ring. Dragon Lee may be in trouble. Now he runs back. He runs back in there. Oh, but nobody home. He was looking for the running super kick. Axiom was looking for that. And now Dragon Lee. No. Now he gets a vertical suplex into a power bomb. Dragon Lee's fired up here. Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee, what's he looking for? Now Dragon Axiom's body. And now Dragon Lee. Going to the corner, looking to stalk his prey like how a lion stalks its prey in the jungle. And now, what's Dragon Lee looking for here? Dragon Lee runs at Axiom. Dragon Lee and the Operation Dragon. The Operation Dragon Axiom. Is that it? And yes, Dragon Lee is victorious in his debut here. Amazing. What a contest, ladies and gentlemen. That was awesome. And now, wait a minute. Dragon Lee with a victory and Axiom is back to his feet. What do we got here? Offering a handshake. And Axiom's gonna shake the hand. A tremendous show of sportsmanship, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing. Congratulations to Dragon Lee and what a contest. Johnny and I have been sitting back and watching things unfold in the lead up to the Royal Rumble. What caught our eye was one half of the current tag team champions, Dax Hardwood, declaring for the men's Rumble match. First off, Dax, we want to wish you good luck in the Rumble and thank you for representing the tag division in the match. That's right. We applaud your efforts, but we're here to remind you and Cash that we're still here waiting. Once the Rumble is over, whether you are able to win or not, we want our shot at those tag team titles that you guys currently hold. And we want it at, say, WrestleMania, we aren't telling you this to sidetrack you, but we want it to be known that we want FTR versus DIY one last time for those tag titles, and what better place to do it at than the grandest stage of them all. So go and fight in that rumble, and after we will be here waiting to take your belts from you. And for any other tag teams that have an issue with that, well, you know where to find us. You just gotta do it yourself. DIY and FTR one last time at WrestleMania Chicago, sign me up. What do you guys think about that? And it looks like Warlow has just arrived, the man that Bobby Roode placed a $1 million bounty on the head of earlier tonight. Wardlow is walking the halls. And now wait a minute, Drew McIntyre with the Claymore. Sorry Wardog, but the Heartbreak Kid has sent Big D to get that cash for the click. I'm gonna pray for us to get that money. Oh my goodness, this does not look good for Wardlow, ladies and gentlemen. This situation has gotten out of hand. He finally got the chance to snap and hit a big boot on Bobby Roode, who was slapping around the past few weeks. But was it worth it? Now he's got potential. The whole roster 
gunning for him for that one million dollars. But it's time to move on, folks, to some more singles action. It's time to see Jimmy Uso representing the bloodline. He's going to try and gain momentum for Solo and The Rock on their behalf heading into the Royal Rumble as he goes up against the current Intercontinental Champion, the ring general, Gunther. Can Jimmy get himself a big time win here tonight? And as I've explained before, ladies and gentlemen, he is the Intercontinental Champion, the Ring General Gunther. However, he does not have the title on him as of a few weeks back, back at No Mercy. After his victory over Adam Cole, he would be attacked and blindsided by the Rock and Solo Sokoa, and Solo would just straight up steal the Intercontinental title. And the Intercontinental title is now in the possession of Solo, and it has been ever since. And now Gunther's looking to get his own title back. He, it's weird. He's defending it at the Rumble, but he has to get his own title back to even win it at all. He's in a bit of a situation there, but tonight he's going to look to get his frustrations out. I don't see Solo anywhere, but maybe Gunther will look to get his title back tonight. Last week, he sent Ludwig Kaiser to try and take out Solo Sokoa and bring him back to the Intercontinental Championship, and that failed big time. Solo still has that title. Bell goes off. Here we go, folks, with some more action. If you're in the live chat, who do you got? And Jimmy Uso, right off the bat, taunting. Showboy ran the face of the ring general. Can he get some momentum brewing in the early goings here? He's looking to avoid those chops. And now once again, able to avoid the chops so far. So far, his chest has not been caved in by El Ring Yenaral. And now, oh, just ducking and dodging. This is a good strategy on the part of Jimmy. Has he not? Nope, never mind. Never mind. Forget what I just said. He just got leveled with the chop. Gunther is known for those chops. That's why I would never want to get in the ring with that man. And now another chop overhand this time. And another overhand chop to Jimmy. Jimmy being sent this week on the part of the bloodline to try and damage Gunther before the Royal Rumble this weekend when Gunther and Solo fight in an absolute grudge match for the Intercontinental title. And The Rock, of course, has also been in the side of the bloodline just creating distraction after distraction for Gunther and now Jimmy looking to fly Jimmy look out flying through the air like Michael Jordan in the 1996 Bulls like Jordan from the free throw line and now Jimmy is gonna rub it into this crowd here in Philly he doesn't give a damn the bloodline doesn't give a damn it was the rock a few weeks ago who said that Gunther is always talking about oh and Gunther with those chops once again a massive chop Gunther is always talking about getting rid of the sports entertainers and letting the wrestlers like him honor this great sport and The Rock replied with well The Rock's family are real good professional wrestlers oh and no, nobody home with the hip attack Jimmy Uso moves out the way and The Rock said that his family legacy goes back decades before and you, you can't really argue with that as Gunther drops him with a missile drop kick that that Weird showcase of athleticism from the ring general. And now Gunther, though. What's Gunther thinking here? And now Gunther looking to tie Jimmy up over the top rope. And now Gunther with that draping foot choke. Just choking out the neck and throat. And Jimmy also gets sent to the outside once again. That is a horrible position to be in if you're facing the ring general. Just shoving that boot right into the throat. Jimmy Uso could be in trouble here, folks. Trying to incapacitate Jimmy Uso. Can't really get, blame Gunther, though, because Gunther's trying to get that title back that's technically his. He never lost it. He just had it stolen from him. The Rock phrased it like this. He took the Intercontinental Championship from Ken Shamrock back in 98, and that's exactly what Solo has done to Gunther. And now Gunther with a Boston Crab cinched in, in the middle of the ring to Jimmy. Jimmy's back, just wrenching. That Boston Crab cinched in. Can Jimmy get out of it? And yes, he fights out of it. As The Rock looking on, looking to gain momentum here with Jimmy for Solo. A bit of a warm-up match. Oh, and a huge super kick. Huge super kick by Jimmy. And now, oh, pounding away on the face of the ring general. You know, Jimmy Uso, what's he looking for here? You know, Jimmy, Jimmy coining the phrase, no yeet. But now Gunther might have something to say about that, and he throws him. 
like a rag doll. Tosses him overhead. And now Gunther, what's he looking for here? And another chop, but no, another chop, chop attempt, excuse me. But Jimmy, though, Irish whip into the corner, and Gunther falls to the mat. And now Jimmy with another Irish whip. What's Jimmy looking for here? And now kick right to the gut. Gunther may be stunned here. And now Jimmy looking. Showboating. Oh, on the running hip attack. Right into the corner. His face just bouncing. Going for the cover. Can Jimmy do it? And no, Gunther kicks out. That rear end going right into the face of Gunther. And Gunther, the back of his head just hitting that turnbuckle. That does not feel good. And now the Gunther is being worked on right now. Being damaged here. The ring general may be fading away here. And now Jimmy going to the top rope. What's he looking for here? Jimmy possibly looking to fly here. With the Uso splash, but nobody home. Gunther moves out the way. And now Gunther kicked to the gut. What's he looking for here? Gunther with that signature power bomb. Power bomb to Jimmy. And now Gunther's not done. And now Gunther gets Jimmy up. And the last symphony. Is that it? Ref counts. Is that it? And yes, Gunther defeating Jimmy in impressive fashion. What a victory for Gunther heading into the Royal Rumble. What a win for the Iron General. Can he get his Intercontinental title back this weekend at the Rumble from Solo? And speaking of Solo, there's Solo and the brawl is on, folks. Solo and Gunther. Solo and Gunther, the brawl is on. They're fighting each other. The brawl is on. And now Gunther getting the upper hand. But now Rock. Rocky slides it in the rock bottom, damn it. Rock bottom to Gunther, damn it. The Rock providing unfair advantage once again. And a Samoan spike to the ring, General. Samoan spike to Gunther. Shades of a few weeks ago and shades of what happened at No Mercy. Same thing. And now another one this time with more elevation for Gunther in midair. Two Samoan spikes by Solo. Sending a message to the Intercontinental Champion. And now what? You've done enough damage. Damn it. And now the Tequila Sunrise. Tequila Sunrise locked in. And now the Rock's got a showboat in the face of Gunther. Gunther has nowhere to go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sign of what's to come at the Royal Rumble. Who's going to walk out of Philadelphia as the Intercontinental Champion? Will it be Solo? Will it be Gunther? Will Solo keep that title or will Gunther get his title back? Find out in Philly. All right, enough time has passed. Thank you two for joining me, but we need to get down to business and come to a full, complete deal with documented proof. Rhonda, I can't have you jumping barricades every week. Just sign and become a full member. What do you say? Well, Mr. Helmsley, my client, Mrs. Rousey, is exercising her rights to keep her mouth closed. As her advocate, I'll be speaking for my client. We looked over the contract that you, sir, offered, and my client doesn't know if it's everything that she wants. We may be able to discuss further. Paul, is this a damn joke to you? I told you last week to come to me with a legit contract that both sides can agree on. Your client has created an unsafe work environment for my women here in WWE. I can't have all this destruction and from an unsigned commodity at that. What can we do here? I'll tell you what we'll do, Mr. Helmsley. We'll get you a contract that my client will agree to terms with 100%. We will bring it to you this weekend at the Royal Rumble in Philadelphia. I would like a continuance on this case, Your Honor. That's not a prediction, it's a spoiler.
Well, there's Wardlow again. And, oh, come on. Now Austin Theory this time. Another roster member trying to earn himself that money. I know $1 million is $1 million, folks. Believe me, most people would do whatever it takes to get a $1 million. But now Wardlow just the second time tonight getting his ass kicked by another roster member who wants that money. Now it's Austin Theory, one of the future bright upcoming stars. But this isn't the way to be. This is just a dick move. Come on, Austin Theory. Come on, don't cave into Bobby Roode like this. And oh no, Theory, no. No, in the ATL, Wardlow. Thanks in advance for the cash, War Dog. I just made myself a big, big, big time bag because of you. You're the best. Well, as the rosters search to take out Wardlow and injure him before his match with Bobby Roode at the Royal Rumble, as that continues, I guess we're going to be moving on because now we're about to see Bailey, and apparently she has something on her mind. Apparently, she's about to have a live microphone in her hand. And remember, Bailey is the current number one contender. She is taking on Asuka one last opportunity, one last time for the WWE Women's title. It'll all go down this weekend at the Royal Rumble in Philly but it's Bailey's last chance if she loses she will no longer be able to compete for this title as long as Oscar is champion but the question is will Oscar be able to even make it to the Rumble after the pile driver she took outside the ring last week and then the rose plant she took a couple weeks back on the steel steps that caused Oscar to need an eye patch and basically be walking around with one eye so it's gonna be interesting to see what Bailey has to say here tonight We are just a few days away from history being made once again. After this weekend, we will finally have a women's champion we can finally be proud of. Me. If the last few weeks have proven anything, it's that Asuka can't represent the women in WWE as a true champion. Week after week, beating after beating, you can tell Asuka is breaking down both physically and mentally. But it's okay. After the Royal Rumble, she'll be able to take time off for a long time because I'll once again be back on my throne as champion. I said it before and I'll say it again this weekend, I need this win. I need my title back. Ever since I lost my title the night after one night stand, I've had many long sleepless nights. But I'm here tonight to call Asuka out. Asuka, you say no one's ready for you? Well, I've been ready. Two weeks ago, I drove your eye into the steel steps. And last week, I drove your neck and skull into the canvas outside the ring. You aren't ready for me. So how about you just forfeit the match at the Rumble and come out here and hand me my title right now? Bailey thinks Asuka should just forfeit the title before the Royal Rumble, but if anything is known about Asuka, it's that she's a fighter. あなたはただしいです。私はしかし、私は100%はっきりしていてロイヤルランブルにいます私はあなたを破壊するつもりですビッチ Oh my ladies and gentlemen Asuka is cleared Asuka just took off the neck brace She's crazy Asuka is ready for a fight this weekend Regardless of the pile driver she took last week The Empress of today is ready For the Royal Rumble I'll admit, folks, this new side of Bailey over the last few weeks, it's pretty dangerous and it's been rough for other superstars, especially Asuka. You gotta wonder if Bailey will be able to finally win that title back once and for all. But it seems like Asuka is ready for a fight. She's not gonna go down without a war. Who walks out this weekend as the WWE Women's Champion, folks? We're gonna find out in Philly.
And now, wait a minute, come on, once again, a third time, now another superstar, now Damien Priest, a member of the Final Testament, attacking Wardlow and laying into him. Everyone on the roster wants that money. Thanks to Rude, everyone wants the money, and I'll slam in the, my goodness, just slamming the hood into the hands of Wardlow. And I'll, no, not into the glass, my goodness, into the windshield. Wardlow being set right into that windshield by Damien Priest. My goodness. My goodness. So many wrestlers are willing to do anything for a million dollars. You guys already get good catering. But now the south of heaven from Damien Priest on the concrete cold hard ground. Damn it. And now Priest is still not done. What's Priest going to do? And now Priest. Wait a minute. No, not this. No, Priest. No. No, and that tombstone shades of the Undertaker. Hey, War Dog, it ain't personal. Just figured the Final Testament could use another million dollars in our bank accounts. Gracias, amigo. Well, folks, it's almost that time. The next time we see you here on this channel, the next episode of Universe Mode will be the Royal Rumble pay-per-view live from Philadelphia. And it will be awesome. Two Royal Rumble matches, 30 superstars. There must be one winner. We start off the million dollar bounty, as was provided earlier tonight by Rude. We'll be on the line as Rude takes on Wardlow in a grudge match. Also, Gunther will defend the Intercontinental title against Solo. Despite Solo stealing the title, can Gunther win the title and retain, or will Solo keep that title? And also, in another grudge match, John Moxley returned on Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns a few weeks back. John Moxley will face Seth Rollins one on one. And also, it's Bailey's last opportunity, the last chance. The WWE Women's title is on the line as Asuka defends against Bailey. Also, the other World Championship match. The WWE Champion Kenny Omega defends against a man who has had his number over the last few weeks, AJ Styles. That should be awesome. Also, the two Royal Rumble matches. The first one, the Women's Royal Rumble match. 30 women. There must be one winner. And also, the men's Royal Rumble, 30 men, there must be one winner. And in this match, we just learned last week, Kenny Omega made the announcement. He's entering the Rumble as the champion, whether he wins or not. That'll be interesting. Royal Rumble will be coming live to the channel, as you know. Make sure you like, comment, sub. If you're new, turn on the notice so you do not miss it. We'll see you in Philly. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are ready because it is now time for your main event. It is time for your big match, big money contest of the evening. As we see the aerial assassin, Will Ospreay, bruv, going up against AJ Styles. And most would say a dream match here. Will Ospreay recently joined the Elite. And he also tonight has Easy e Eric Bischoff in his corner. Eric Bischoff turned on Seth Rollins, costing him the WWE title back at No Mercy to join the Elite and help out Kenny Omega. And then last week we saw Will Ospreay officially become a member of the Elite, replacing Adam Page because two weeks ago he replaced Adam Page as he was set up by Kenny Omega. Ospreay is now an Elite member. And you have to think to yourself how powerful the Elite are with Will Ospreay. It's not right what happened to Hangman, most definitely. But Osprey being a member of that group can only take him to better places. And I hate to say it, but with Eric Bischoff too. But tonight the aerial assassin has his hands full as he has to go up against the current challenger for the WWE title this weekend at the Royal Rumble in the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles. He did lose last month at No Mercy to Jay White, but then we would see later on in the night, we'd see AJ Styles chasing them around the building. He would eventually get to Juice Robinson, and he would throw him off the Hell in a Cell structure when Edge and Lesnar were having their match inside that structure. And AJ Styles has been unhinged ever since, blindsiding Kenny Omega when Kenny Omega has been expecting it, hitting him with a phenomenal form. We saw it again last week to close the show AJ Styles has had Kenny Omega's number over the past few weeks, and tonight he's taken on the new right-hand man of the Elite in Will Ospreay. 
in what some or even most would say a dream match. AJ Styles looking to get a big time win here heading into Philadelphia at the Royal Rumble. Can he get the momentum going into that epic clash? We're going to find out. Bell goes off. Here we go, folks. In your main event, if you're in the live chat, who do you got? You got Styles or Osprey? Who wins this match? Will Osprey get a career-defining win over Styles, or will Styles be able to get a win and gain momentum heading into the title match at Royal Rumble as he gets level with a big boot? Though Will Osprey been sent by the Elite, a new honorary member of the Elite, ever since two weeks ago when he blindsided Hangman Adam Page and helped Kenny Omega and the Bucks double cross Hangman. And you already know these two are going to use their athleticism to their advantage here. Will Ospreay and AJ Styles, two of the greatest wrestlers in the world today. And oh, but nobody home. Will Ospreay moves. And now uh, looking for, oh, springboard dropkick, but nobody home. Styles counters. And now uh, Styles, though, my goodness, reverse DDT. Inverted DDT, excuse me, goes for the cover. Is that it? Oh, quick kick out of one by Ospreay. Ospreay is 100% one of the best wrestlers on the planet today is Osprey though leapfrog and now baseball slide and now Osprey oh my goodness a great executed maneuver right there and Osprey oh but nobody home trying to get a springboard cross body but Styles was able to be a foot away from the action to be able to avoid that and oh a huge knee drop right to the face Osprey could be in trouble right here right here in this main event and now Osprey though looking for a leverage pin, looking to get a big win. Can he get it? No, but Styles turns it into his leverage pin. Can he get it? Oh no, he kicks out. Both of them were able to kick out of their respective leverage pins right there as Osprey kicks him right in the gut. And now Osprey though, what's he looking for here? Osprey gets him up on his shoulder, electric chair into a forearm. My goodness, a forearm right to the back of Styles. Styles could be in concussion protocol after a, man a maneuver like that. You know, Osprey. You already see the games being played by Eric Bischoff, but Osprey, oh my goodness, close on over the top rope. What's Osprey looking like here? What's he gonna do? The aerial assassin, look out, my goodness! Uh, my goodness, taking out Styles, flying through the air. My goodness. You know, Styles a flying clothesline outside the ring, taking out Osprey and himself. You know, Styles goes to the top. What's he looking for here? And now Styles crossbody to the outside. AJ Styles looking to apply great damage to Will Ospreay here. Try to send a message to Kenny Oh, with a forearm. Phenomenal forearm, a variation of that. Using the springboard offense to the outside. And now Ospreay gets put back into that ring. Back into the squared circle here. And now Styles looking to cover him. Did he get the win? Oh, and now Ospreay kicks out at one again. You have to do more to take out the aerial assassin, Will Ospreay. You know, Styles, though, with another phenomenal blitz into a clothesline. Trying to take his head off right there. And you see Styles laser focused right now, putting all that damage in on Will Ospreay. As we saw Kenny Omega watching during the entrance of Styles. Now Styles going for a cover again. Can he get it? Oh, and Ospreay kicks out. What Styles gonna look to do here? And now Styles grapples well, but Osprey counters with a form right to the midsection. And now Osprey looking to mount a comeback. Oh, super kick! And oh my goodness, what a great maneuver! Great showcase of athleticism. Is that it? No, Styles able to get the shoulders up. Osprey getting a little frustrated here. What's Osprey looking for? Osprey, oh form smash right to the face. Now Osprey, oh looking for a kick, but no, that's countered. Styles. Stomps right in his gut. And now Styles pulls back into a backbreaker. That spine just crunching, aching, being sent right into the knee of AJ. You know, Styles. You know, oh, but Osprey looking about to come back here. Osprey with the furious strikes. And now once again, countered by Styles again. Same counter. Styles may have his number in this matchup here. You know, Styles, what's he looking for here? Styles going to the top. And now looking to fly, but nobody home. Osprey moves out the way. And now Osprey looking for some springboard action. And oh, but now countered again by Styles. And now Styles grapples. Now swooping to the corner. AJ placing him on the top. 
What's Styles thinking here? Styles looking to go high risk. And the Avalanche Harkin. Oh my goodness. Taking out Osprey. The aerial assassin is down. And now Styles, what's he looking for here? Springboard 450 splash. Goes for the cover, is that it? And no, oh, the aerial assassin kicks out. Bruv was able to get the shoulders up here. What a win this would do for Will Ospreay. It would do numbers for his career here. It would certainly make Kenny Omega and the Elite impressed. But Will Ospreay has to go through a veteran like AJ Styles. You know, Ospreay though, off the ropes. Ospreay looking at him on a comeback here potentially. Rolls through. Ospreay, head scissor takedown into a drop kick. Massive maneuver. Massive comeback here for the aerial assassin. And Osprey now, what's Bruv looking for? Osprey looking to stalk his prey here. And now Osprey, wait a minute, Oscutter! Oscutter to Styles, is that it? Can the Oscutter put him away? And now Styles kicks out. What a maneuver from Osprey, one of his signature maneuvers. And it wasn't enough to put the phenomenal one away. And now Osprey, you see Kenny Omega watching this causes very closely. Studying film for the upcoming WWE title match, the Rumble. And now Styles, though, looking oh, to apply the calf killer. But Will Osprey was able to cause a rope break here. The ref had him stop it. And now looking for a Styles clash, but Osprey counters midair. Osprey counters. Osprey with the grapple now. What's he looking for here? You know, oh, Falcon's arrow to the phenomenal one. Now Osprey, what's he looking for here? Osprey. Looking to get fired up. You know, Osprey, oh, looking for a kick, but Styles counters again. Osprey gets up. And now look at the athleticism, the kick, and he lands. He lands on his feet with a backflip again. And another one. Three of them. And now Styles catches him off guard. Now Styles are going to make a comeback here. And now Styles with a massive Pele kick to Osprey. The Pele kick. The phenomenal one. Look at him on a comeback into this matchup. Can he get back in it and gain all the momentum? And now Styles. Styles, Styles pops Osprey up. He pops him up. And the Styles clash to Osprey. Ref goes for the count. Can he put him away? And no! Oh, damn it! Osprey kicked out. What a contest this is becoming. Osprey kicks out. And now looking for another Styles clash. A second attempt, but no. Osprey resists. Osprey counters. And I'll kick to the gut, Osprey. Osprey. What's he looking for here? Osprey got Styles up. Not the Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker by Osprey. Is that it? And no. Oh, Styles kicks out at 2.9. My goodness. I certainly agree with this crowd. And all oh, and now Styles counters. This crowd is going crazy here, and I can't blame them. This is great so far. What a match this has been. Styles and Osprey. Styles and Osprey going back and forth here. Neither man will quit. Who is the better man here? Who will gain the momentum? Hang into the future of this company. And now Styles are going to fight back. Styles with the Fury of Strikes. And now the kick. And now another kick. And now but Osprey counters the kick and sweeps leg off from under him. And Osprey looking for another kick, but now once again another gut check, gut stomp right into the midsection of Osprey. And now Styles looking to maintain some control here. The third time, the third way. Oh my goodness, Styles clash! After a third and final attempt, he lands the Styles clash. And now AJ with the phenomenal forearm to Osprey, phenomenal forearm. And I'll go to the top. What Styles looking for here? Styles. And he lands it. My goodness. Spiral tap. Spiral tap. Is that it? Ref counts. And yes, that's all she wrote. Styles is victorious here tonight. What a match. What a contest. Heading into the Royal Rumble. AJ Styles has got all the momentum in the world. Kenny Omega is watching, and I hope he studied film. Because it's gonna be just like in Japan. These two are gonna go to war once more, this time in WWE. 
for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Kenny Omega will face AJ Styles at the Rumble, who will walk out of Philly as our WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I know you think you're untouchable and that's great. You want to play politics and abuse your power as WWE Champion and compete in the Men's Rumble as the champion to get Mania off. All right, fine. I'm here to tell you whether you beat AJ or not this weekend and retain, you will enter the Rumble at number one. No exceptions. You want to play the game? Well, I'm ready to play as well. Oh my, ladies and gentlemen, some blockbuster news from Triple H. Kenny Omega, whether he's WWE Champion or not, by the time the Rumble match happens at the Royal Rumble, whether he defeats Styles or not, he will enter number one in the Royal Rumble match. This is insane. The Champion will be in the Rumble match, and he starts from the number one spot. The ultimate disadvantage. Wait a minute, Adam Page. Adam, wait, please. Let's talk about this. I'm sorry. Oh, and Hangman, Hangman with a massive lariat. Hangman ain't interested in talking anymore. It's a good thing you're in that Rumble this weekend, even as the champion, because I'll also be in that match. This is great. At the Royal Rumble, I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life and eliminate you, then go on to win and beat you at WrestleMania. And there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. A message has just been sent to the WWE Champion by Hangman Adam Page. They will both be in the Royal Rumble match. And now, wait a minute, we got a situation at ringside, ladies and gentlemen, on the stage. We cut back to the ring. Seth Rollins is out here. He just arrived. And now, wait a minute, there's John Moxley through the crowd. Moxley and Rollins staring each other down. And now, Moxley and Rollins. Moxley and Rollins. They're brawling. We're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. What's going to happen at the Royal Rumble? Philadelphia, here we come.